if you haven't heard about Anchor by Spotify, it's the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has the tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. And best of all, Anchor is totally free. So download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Show love. Yes, show love. Walk in love. Be love, just love unconditionally, love with your whole heart, just like Christ loved. Christ loved us, y'all. He gave himself up for all humanity. You know, he died and he rose for all of us. Oh yeah, that's love. When you die for someone, even though that person has done you wrong, or you know that person really doesn't care about you, but you sacrifice yourself for that person, that is love. And that's what Christ did. He showed love. He is love. Jesus Christ is love. Yeah, so we have to walk in love just as Christ, he did. Love one another like Christ loved the church. Yeah, God. Christ's father gave his son up to die for us, for all humanity, to give his life for all of us, even though he knew we were going to sin and continue sinning. He knew, (laughs) but he still gave his son up for us. And Jesus knew, and he still gave himself up for us. You know, that. That is love. That is love. Oh, yeah. So, I give God the praise, the honor, and the glory. For he is worthy to be praised. Oh, yeah. Worthy to be praised. Lord, decrease me and increase you in me. Anything that's not in, in, not in um not of you in me, Father... I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Anything that may come into this atmosphere that's trying to stop this podcast, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Send it to the pits of hell where it belongs and burn down every evil altar and wickedness by your judgment fire. Thank you, Lord God. I welcome the Holy Spirit to fill this place. Yes, y'all. So show love. Walk in love. And live a life of love. Just as Christ loved us. And gave himself up for us. Like I said for all humanity. As a fragrant offering. A sacrifice to God his father. Oh yeah. Do the same thing. You know. So I say walking. Love is because you know like. You can meet someone. Or you may have a spouse. A husband or a wife. Even your children, you know, your parents, family and friends, they might do you wrong, you know, do wrong by you, treat you in a bad, in a bad way, not showing love, you know, just very grumpy, always angry for no reason, or talking real down at you, smart mouth, not showing their, um, that they're grateful when you do things for them. You know, making you feel like you're supposed to do that for them. You show love. Continue to show love. Always show love. Because Christ is love. And he will reward you. You know, he will show you his kindness, his goodness. For your love towards someone else. Even when that person doesn't, you know, deserve it. He'll make your enemies your footstool. 
Yeah, the Lord will make your enemies your footstool. He will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. So they'll see it. So they'll see that Christ is truly with you and for you and fighting for you and protecting you. Just like his word says. So show love. Always show love. I know it's hard. I'm human. And I know it's hard for me as well. You know, people just like, okay, just like you're in traffic and someone may cut you off. Or you may be trying to get into, um, get on the highway or get on the road, pulling out of a um, parking lot. And they won't even let you pull out. <laughs> They'll pull right in front of you and stop. And then there's a whole lot of traffic. So you're just sitting there, you know, but try not to get angry. Just, you know, just give God the praise, honor, and the glory and look at it as, Maybe God is protecting me me from something down the road, you know. So it's a good thing that I'm sitting right here and I'm not able to um, pull off right now. So just look at it that way. So always try and show love regardless of what it is, you know. Because you don't want to be like other people. You want to be a man or a woman of God doing the will of God, showing love living a full and blessed life because you're doing the will of God. You're doing exactly what he commands us to do in the Bible. You know what he's telling us to do in the Bible. You're trying to live as Christ, you know, wants us to live. And I know it's hard sometimes because it, it's hard for me sometimes. And I'm a woman of God. I'm a minister. And I, um, you know, I get angry too sometimes when people just do things just to do them, just because they're so mean and they don't have that love in them like you have or like I have. But we have to show love, show love all the time. Show love all the time. Don't miss out on your blessings because someone else you know, has a chip on their shoulder or they're not showing love. Yeah, Ephesians 5, 1 through 2. Um, I'll read it from the NIV. Follow God's example. Therefore, as dearly loved children. Yeah, verse 2. And walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering. And a sacrifice to God. Yeah. So we got to just love like Christ, y'all. Love just like Christ loved. It'll make you feel good inside just to do a good deed for someone, you know, to make someone smile. If that person is being snappy to you, it won't hurt, you know, just for you to smile at that person and say something kind to them. Oh, I forgive you. And they'll look at you like, you, huh? what <laughs> you forgive me and you know they may feel bad afterward they may never tell you they're sorry but they may feel terrible on the inside because you forgave them for their foolishness when they didn't even have that to do but you forgave them and you showed them love and you did it with a smile and it may have been hard for you to do it it may have been eating you up on the inside because you wanted to return evil for evil but you didn't so god he see everything he sees everything oh yeah and he'll re he'll reward you you know just by you being obedient to him to his word and letting his will be done in your life letting him guide you and direct you you know oh yeah ephesians fifth chapter 25th verse and i'm reading it from the amplified bible husbands love your wives seek the highest good for her and surround her with a caring unselfish love just as christ also loved the church and gave himself up for her yeah so love y'all that's what i'm speaking about love it's just like the, the Holy Spirit, you know, quicken my spirit to speak on love today. 
that we should just love each other and show love and do a good deed for people. Go out and do something kind for someone. Show love. Pay for someone's groceries at the counter. You don't have to pay for the, all of it if you can't. You know, pay for a few items. That's love because you didn't have to do that. If you see somebody, an older person or somebody that's sickly, and, you, you know, you can go cut their grass. Or if you can't cut grass and you may be allergic to it, you can wash their windows on their house. Tell them you just want to bless them, you know, and go do something like that. Wash their windows on their house. Just be a blessing. Wash their car. Take their dog for a walk. Or whatever, you know, whatever it is that you feel like you, you're led to do by the Lord. To be a blessing. To show love. You know, do that. Just show love. So, it's not a long word, but it was a quick word from the Lord that he gave me. He, he placed in my spirit, the Holy Spirit, quick in my spirit with it. I was cooking, cooking a meal <laughs> today, and the Holy Spirit quick in my spirit would show love. You know, just show love. Tell the people about love. Tell them they need to show love. It's, you know, we're living in some times right now, y'all. It's hard. Everything, prices, they're going up. All Everything is just high. Prices going up. A lot of people don't have jobs. A lot of people, they're really going through it right now. The loss of loved ones, you know, and everything. It's just hard right now. But you can still show love to one another. Just be a blessing to somebody, you know. Just be a blessing. And the Lord will, the Lord will reward you. He will bless you. For being a blessing to someone else. Oh yeah. So. I pray this was a blessing to you. May the Lord bless you with an ear to hear. And a heart to receive this word. Whoever this word was for. That it fall on good ground. Oh yeah. In the name of Jesus. Anything that's not of you Lord. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And bind it by your judgment power. By your fire Father. Burn it. And send it to the pits of hell where it belongs. Burn every evil altar and wickedness. Anything that's not of you, Lord God. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, I thank you. And if you don't know God, if you're sinning and you want to get to know him, you want to get saved. Or if, you, or if you're already saved and you're a Christian, a man, a woman of God, and you've backslidden, I'm going to say the prayer of salvation. You repeat it after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Known, unknown, thought, deed, and word. I believe you died and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and my wicked ways. And I invite you to come into my heart and my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, Father. Yes. So, y'all. That's good. You just gave your life to Christ. So, now you need to go to a Holy Ghost Spirit-filled, faith-based Bible reading church. And get fully baptized, submerged under the water, fully submerged, get baptized, yeah, <clears throat> so the old way of living, thinking, acting, and believing will die up under the water, and when you raise about that water, you'll be a new creation in Christ, old things have passed away, behold, all things have become new, in Jesus' name, y'all, check out the YouTube channel for more ministry, to quicken your, more ministry to um, edify and build you up in your spirit, share the podcast with your friends and family, so they can listen to it on the radio, while they're exercising, walking their babies, pushing them in a the stroller, you know, just doing whatever it is they do daily. If they don't want to watch the video, they can listen to it on the podcast. So may the Lord bless you, keep you, make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you, and give you peace. In Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior's name, I pray and I thank him. For you are worthy, Lord, to be praised. Amen. So many, many blessings to you and your family. May the Lord bless you, keep you, make his face shine upon you, and be gracious unto you, and give you peace, y'all. I love you. Have a good one.